Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2, where John and I are going to vlog once again. Like it or not, here we are. <laughs> we, you know, Art, anybody of any age would have more sense, more good sense than we do to get together and reveal how stupid we are every week. Yeah, but for <laughs> but John, for us, it's a labor of love. That's your cue. We don't. Well, we don't. We certainly don't know any better. That's for sure. Oh, okay. Uh, but I have something really important for all of us over fifty. Really? Actually, for all of us retired. That's a, you know I don't like to use the word retired. No, that that means that you were tired and now you're tired again. Yeah, <laughs> that too. Yeah. Uh, it's Labor Day, and here's my here's my problem. I don't remember the labor part of Labor Day. I, I remember the hot dogs and the grilling and the barbecue and all you know all the fun stuff. I don't remember the labor part. Do you remember commuting to work? Absolutely. Do you remember having to get up early to to get to the office on time? Do you actually, remember? I actually, I, well, wait, wait, John. I like... still get up early. I, well, yeah, I'm that's because your prostate is killing you. Well, no, that I'm up all night. <laughs> But then when I'm up for the day, no, I, I've always gotten up early, so that's a bit of. But but commuting to a regular office uh, is a distant memory. Uh, I've actually I've never retired because even now we're doing this, but uh, uh, which is uh, several times a week we're doing this and we're planning for it and we're doing a lot of things. So I don't consider myself retired, but the act of commuting. Uh, which I used to do when uh, I used to go to New York City. And I had uh, territories there where I serviced those territories, or I even worked in an office for some periods of time, or I commuted to an office someplace. Uh, that's long since gone. Actually, for a lot of people today, it's long since gone because they're doing work at home. Oh, boy, isn't that the truth? Yeah. Right. So maybe maybe those people that are still working today and are not retired yet, Maybe their memories will be different because they don't have commuting. Right. They commute from the bedroom to the kitchen to a little home office. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Their, their memories may be all about, you know, I remember the first application of Zoom. It was so yeah. clunky. You know? In fact, there a lot of those people have been probably turned over to local gendarmes because their Fitbits feel abandoned. <laughs> Anyway, Labor Day does have a kind of a different meaning if you're over a certain age. Right. Now, our audience is 50 and over. We arbitrarily say 50 is the beginning of the second half of your life. Right. So we're serving people 50 and over. But the real, I was thinking to myself the other day, the real, I don't know what the, um, uh, what's that, what do they call it when the insurance company determines how old you're going to live to? Uh, oh, actuarial? Uh, actuarial tables, right. Yeah, actuarial. So the real actuarial age of life or death for currently is for men is around 82, roughly mm. 82. That would mean at 41, you're starting the second half of your life. That's a little too early. Right. Um, so I like, I'll stick with 50. But my point is that at 50, you're not retired. You're not anywhere near retired. Most people can't retire till they're 70. Right. But a lot of people, if they if they had a really, really good pension, would retire at 64, 65, something like that. So there's a lot of people that are like me, but they're over 65. And they're, they're finding, remembering the labor of Labor Day, you know, the, the what we're celebrating is a pretty distant memory. Now, you and I, I can't, believe me, I can't remember getting up early anymore. I got up at eight o'clock today. Well, I get up. I get up early for both of us. You know, well, we we do have a division of labor. Okay, I do editing. You do all the creative work and the writing and things like that. We have a division of labor. One of my one of my jobs is getting up early. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Well, one of my jobs is sitting on the porch with coffee every morning. I, oh, not, I, I, I is that on the back of the bay? Pardon? 
Are you sitting on the back of the bay, or is your porch no, there? <laughs> no, I, sorry, I missed that reference. Okay. So it seems to me that as we get older, mm. our our memory of labor will change, mm. right? So 10 years from now, I'll be remembering sitting on the porch in the morning, as opposed to getting on the New Haven Railroad and commuting into Manhattan. Or getting on the subway, or getting a... Uh... Jamaica, Long Island Railroad uh, coming into Manhattan. Although yeah. I was fortunate that even going to Manhattan a lot, particularly when I had uh, uh, sales territories there or was managing sales territories there uh, because we um, demonstrated equipment, uh, oftentimes I would drive in at a, a, a company wagon and I'd put our uh, computer graphics equipment in there and, well, and that, drive that it down no to the fun. World Trade Centers when they were still standing uh, and did a lot of uh, demos there or Wall Street or yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. things like that. So I remember driving to Manhattan. I'm sure there's a lot of people who on the East Coast drive to and from lower upstate New York. Like I, I uh, had a company that I worked for for about three years uh, running a marketing department in Elmsford, New York. And Elmsford, I commuted yeah. from Long Island. And we wow. always said that you could always tell the commuters because they were listening to Howard Stern and everybody... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was cracking up at the I, same time. I remember, <laughs> I remember being in a car in New York, driving, commuting to work, and you, the traffic would be so slow on the East Side Drive. People would be sitting next to each other, almost stopped, and everybody would turn up their radio, and it all every, everybody was listening to Howard Stern. Right. He'd make you turn up your radio. And also, from time to time, you you recognize people. Because everybody's going at the 5.30 hour or the 6 o'clock <laughs> yeah, hour. That's right. And everybody's on the same schedule. Right. Yeah. And so you so when you hit each other and one of those slow bang-ups, when you bang into each other, you didn't have to trade information because you all knew each other. Right. Well, it wasn't that way commuting to Hollywood, believe me. I, yeah. I, I had a long commute on the 210 to Hollywood. That was... Uh, that yeah, was and a, and so also when we would uh, had... Uh, uh, shoot days, uh, especially when I did a uh, number of productions with my uh, son, you'd be there at 5.36 in the morning, you'd have a 10 or 12 hour day, and yeah. uh, you might have uh, three or four or eight of them in a row, and then not have a place to go for yes. uh, another two or three weeks, because you got paid well during those periods of time, but you worked work long, hard uh, days. So everybody had and a different situation. Sure, and, and uh... The book, the days you're booked to work are few and far between. Right, so. but but there there is a general uh, a sense of uh, you have uh, doctors and uh, uh, firefighters and police that work on uh, three days on and four days off or what right. uh, a whole bunch of twelve hour shifts and things like that. Sure, but the vast majority of people who work show up at an office. Uh, factory workers, uh, you show up, you punch a clock. You put yep. in your eight or nine hours, whatever it happens to be, and you do that maybe for 20, 30, 40 years. If you're uh, lucky, if, if you're, you're lucky, lucky, you do if, that for that if, long and have a pension. Right. And I also remember, having grown up in New York, as uh, did you, when Labor Day was actually a celebration of the labor movement and people getting jobs, and it really it wasn't just for workers in general. And of course, Labor Day wasn't a Labor Day without the Jerry Lewis uh, uh, Marathon. Telephone. Yeah, that's okay, exactly so right. Yeah, that's what, what Labor does. So it has changed. Well, I'm look. Actually, it, don't they still have the the telethon? I don't know. Uh, I I uh, think they do, and I I think they use Jerry Lewis's name. He's long gone, of course, right. but oh, you I, mean, I think uh, maybe they run it out of Vegas and they have a bunch of local stations. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Well, not the, um, not the same. Right. Not the it, same. It, the original purpose of Labor Day was, you know, put through Congress to celebrate. The labor, labor movement, movement. Right. the AFL-CIO, sure. That that was the big um, force behind it. But I thankfully, it's morphed into more than that. It, it's an appreciation of... Um, Anybody who works. I think our capitalist system, quite frankly, is, is that everybody should work and be productive. So I'm happy about that. So anyway, if you're only... If you're, if you're let's say, in your prequel... Uh, retirement of uh, 50 to 65 ish. Then yeah. uh, uh, I don't know how, what, what they have. Look, I just never, I never felt that retiring was a good idea for me. I enjoy 
the hustle and bustle uh, of of uh, uh, working with other people, even when I didn't have a whole bunch to do and I was sort of semi-retired, you and I probably worked uh, not full time, but uh, significant amounts of time in two or three charitable organizations oh, that we absolutely. were on the boards of. So, uh, well, it, 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 I think um, part of it is if, if you're working anywhere in media, it's very rare. Well, nobody gives out gold watches anymore, but it, it it's very rare for somebody to end up at a company long enough to get the proverbial gold watch after, mm -hmm. you know, 30 years of service, that kind of thing. Uh, media is, most media is, and has been for a long time, um, really, uh, I'll call it freelance, but it's that gig economy. You know, it's, you might work at a place for a couple of years. Uh, if you're lucky, then you move on to another TV station or whatever it is. Right. Particularly if, in, if you're in the movies, you know, a, a movie gig yeah. runs 30 days if you're lucky, 60 right. days. I mean, right? if you, if let's say you work for a Paramount and you're in the accounting department, you might be there uh, right. for, for 30 or 40 sure. years. Uh, sure. Or even uh, in the uh, administrative pool uh, and things like that. But if uh, you're uh, working on a movie or you're working on a show, a show, if it's got a, a year or two or three on, on, on TV, that's a huge hit. Okay? Oh, yeah. And you keep busy for three years, and then for the next three years, you're looking for your next gig. Yeah. <laughs> but no, if, if you're in the medical profession, uh, you may change uh, associations from time to time. But uh, you're right. Uh, people don't tend to put in uh, uh, 20 or 30 years with yeah. a single company. That's why there are IRAs and things like that, because people are constantly moving right. 401ks moving around from place. Right. I don't know how we got there, but the, the, the point is, I think that uh, you bring up uh, rightfully so that uh, uh, Labor Day weekend is coming up and it's a celebration of uh, uh, having a, a place, a country, uh, an environment uh, that we can work in, earn a living, take care of our families and uh, uh, get some personal enjoyment. And yeah. it's a, I, a, I a, celebra it. a celebration of, of all the opportunities that we've had to work and our fellow uh, Americans have had to yep. work. Yep, I, I look at it as a celebration um, of people, people meaning folks who actually are work, working and are productive and making our country run, you know, and not necessarily government uh, workers, but everybody, it's the capitalist system. If everybody works, the economy, Hums along, everybody's happy. So well, I'm going to say I'm going to suggest that everybody, uh, if you're in a uh, in a uh, barbecue kind of weekend mood, uh, go fire up the grill. Uh, make sure to put on um, uh, uh, corn on the cob, boil them up. You want to have corn? Some people like to put it on the grill. Uh, if you're a carnivore, go get yourself some hamburgers or impossible burgers, uh, if you're uh, vegetarian, vegan. And uh, uh, by the way, I have not found a good substitute for a hot dog yet. Impossible burgers, yes, uh, hot dogs, no, but um, uh, put some veggies on the, on the grill, those work too. Good, and enjoy Labor Day, celebrate it. Celebrate it and don't even bother trying to remember the commute and the nasty boss that you once had. Because if, that stuff. because if that's behind you, then what you should be celebrating is your act two. Very good. Very good. For more on celebrating act two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating act two is the user manual for the second half of your life.